This video is meant purely for satire and is no way meant to knock Sonic Frontiers or Zelda Breath of the Wild. I really love both those games and Sonic Frontiers is just a new level of awesome for the Sonic franchise. It's just I had to knock what I saw in this game. Anyway, without other way, let's begin. You ever notice that a lot of Sonic Frontiers seems to take inspiration from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Like, from the minute that you boost up the game, their title screens look almost identical. Wait, let's just let's just bring them in real quick. Here's Breath of the Wild style screen, and here's Sonic Frontiers style screen. Tell me if they don't look similar, if not just slightly different art styles. But then you have the open world aspect. And this is something that started with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now I know a lot of games are copying it. And Sonic Frontiers doesn't even call this open world, they call it open zone. But it's still something very cool to point out. And even the layout of some of these maps. Take a look at some of these maps in Sonic Frontiers. I've only played up to three of them. But it's like if they took every aspect of the maps in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and made them like their own unique distinct world. We have like this desert world which is similar to the Gerudo. We have like this grassland which seems more similar to like the valleys that we see in Breath of the Wild. And right now I'm in this kind of like volcano area or this heated area which just seems to remind me of the Gerudo. And that's pretty interesting in its own right. But then we also have the Coco. Now, the Coco are used in Sonic Frontiers in order to level up your speed or your rank count. And that just strikes me as a bit too similar to the Korok seeds that you find in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That you use to expand your inventory in one of three categories. And I'm just like, if that wasn't enough, take a look at the design of both of these. Then you have the Divine Beasts and the Bosses in Sonic Frontiers. I don't know the name of the bosses in Sonic Frontiers. And I know you could skip over the Divine Beasts in The Legend of Zelda, and they're mostly there to help Link power up in order to beat Ganondorf, um, Calamity Ganon, at the end of that game. And you could go straight to Ganon without having to go through the Divine Beasts. But it's still pretty cool how Sonic Frontiers ended up like taking the Beast concept and working it in to its game. And don't you find that was a bit coincidental? Also, what about the memories? Like, the whole point of Legend of Zelda, actually it wasn't points, it was just one aspect of it, was retrieving Link's memories throughout the game. And wouldn't you know it, Sonic Frontiers does the exact same thing, or something similar, where you have to collect these little things. I don't remember the names off the top of my head. You have to go carry them to either Sage or the character for that level, like Amy or um, Tails. And then it unlocks a cutscene that you watch, and sometimes even unlocks like mini challenges. And I think that there's gonna be like even more. I'm gonna miss this. Post production game here, real quick, with just one more that I forgot to mention at the beginning, and that is the nighttime events. Like, I know they're very different. But similarly, um, in Zelda, they come back to life, I think. And in Sonic Frontiers, it's the same thing. I know Sonic Frontiers has the meteors also crashing down. But again, these coincidences are just stacking up and it's just stellar to me. As the game progresses, but it's just so fun to even notice that. Watch, as I said at the beginning of this video, this is purely satire. This was not meant to jab Sonic Frontiers in any way. I actually really love that Sonic Frontiers took the bold step into the open world concept, or as they call it, open zone concept. And it's pretty cool that overall, Sonic Frontiers is just a good game. I'll give it a chance. I know what Game Explain said. I know what Jody said in Game Explain in that review. And to that I say, I think that could be easily overlooked if you're just looking for a good time, if you're the explorative type, if you like open world games. This is fun. Sonic Frontiers is fun. It's also worth noting that I was getting pretty much Pokemon Scarlet and Violet vibes from this. You think about it like this. Legend of Zelda is Pokemon Scarlet. Sonic Frontiers is Pokemon Violet. And we'll get to that game soon. <laughs> 